I spent hours figuring out exactly how I wanted my home theater to sound and look. But Govi wasn't interested in sponsoring a video about that. They preferred the concept where our logistics team comes in here, tears out all my nice gear, and I have to build myself a new ultimate home theater exclusively with parts from Wish.com. How long do I have to keep it like this? Wow, you guys have got everything. A uh, 100 inch projector screen. Wait, that's a, it's washable. Hold on. <laughs> Popcorn maker. But where's the furniture? Your 90s kids start blowing. Oh. This is Cuisinart. Is this on Wish? No, we bought a popcorn maker from Wish. It's almost the exact same. It's even a similar price, but it didn't show up. Oh. A sound bar? Yeah, it's a cinema sound bar. It's all your speakers in one. Oh, good. And wow, an 8K projector. Yeah, because our H96 Max 8K Ultra HD X3 Android HD TV box does 8K. Decode. There's no way either of these are doing 8K anything. Don't worry, with these Govi add-ons, like their TV backlight 3 and their Christmas string lights, you'll forget all about 8K decode. How am I decode. supposed to use Christmas string lights to improve my crappy image quality? That's the neat part, you don't. And Govi's new permanent outdoor lights pro won't improve picture quality either, but they will help light up your life and make any holiday feel special with their next level festive RGB WWIC lighting delivering up to 50 lumens per bulb. They're RGB and weather rated for IP67 water resistance and temperatures from negative 20 up to a sweltering 60 degrees Celsius. And on top of that, these lights have a 50,000 hour lifespan, so they should last for years. You can get yours today at the link down below. I don't want to sound critical, but yeah. I expected more. What? It's a hundred inch. No, I don't mean I expected it to be bigger. I expected it to have a frame or something. How the heck are we supposed to mount this? It's washable and it comes with all the hardware you need. I didn't ask Look. if it was washable. I hardware, said... hanging hooks. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's washable. It's much- How many times are you going to tell me it's washable? <laughs> I don't care. Nothing's going to get on it. It's much thicker than regular screens and it's not going to wrinkle. That's one of the comments it on the uh, product page. It doesn't need to wrinkle, page. it's already wrinkled. <laughs> it's not bad. You can see right yeah. through it. <laughs> it's good. Colin says it's level. Okay, I'm, a, I'm, I'm pressing it really, really good on there. Okay, I'm pressing mine really well. Hey, now we just got to do like two more. All right. Well, I guess six more. You're you too. I'll take these ones. <laughs> That's what you get ordering off of Wish. <laughs> it was $15. <laughs> this is just a sheet with a black border. It's $15. It's not a projector. <laughs> it looks great. Once content is on it, you'll never know. I'm feeling soundbar for our next adventure. Sure, it's a cinema soundbar. It's all wireless. This is the new upgraded version, apparently. It's a strong soundbar for TV and computer. TV and computer. And computer. It was about 47, 48 US dollars. So you definitely- I paid 50 bucks for a soundbar on what? Somehow it manages to be even more rinky dink than it seemed from inside the box. Look at this thing. Yeah, but look at the product page. There's flames, home oh. theater sound bar. It looks awesome. There's a little horn there. It's like speakers what and stuff. What is BQB? I don't know. Is it battery powered? You know what? I don't see a power cable. I'll tell you that much. Uh, but it's also, yo. It's just a Bluetooth speaker <laughs> in the shape of a sound bar. It's not even high power USB-C because it's to a USB-A termination. <laughs> we have got a uh, audio cable and uh, you know, a little clip to hold it all together. Everything about the specs for this thing make it seem more like an engineering class project as opposed to a real product. Wow. Hey, it fits. Oh yeah, we bought a theater sign. This was originally a theater sign. They sent the wrong one. If that wasn't- <laughs> if, I was gonna if say. that wasn't obvious what, enough. What's theater about this? This is the one we originally wanted. It looks a little better. I mean. Yeah. That's great. It hides one of the, wall, one of the holes in the wall. What? It's stuck on its own? No, there's a, there's a piece of masking tape from the painter's uh, <laughs> touch all, It already tilted. It's like about to fall. Okay. I think we got to do the furniture next. You want to do the furniture? Yeah, I want to okay. see this. <laughs> so this was actually purchased like three years ago for a completely different video, but it's still available on Wish today. Really? Yeah, we bought ours on Amazon, but you can find it on Wish. And then we also bought brand new, a couple of small size uh, beanbag chairs. Wow, this is really torn up. Does it come like this? Uh, yeah, this is Love Sack's foam. Oh. I had a cat pee incident with my Love Sack and I contacted them about purchasing additional foam. Wow. Uh, 
That's great. That looks awful. I mean, it's enough cushion. No, it's not. <laughs> 20 minutes later, I don't know if I'll be saying the same thing. In fairness, we didn't want these. Originally, we got this deluxe inflatable lounger, but that never arrived. Oh, that's part of the wish experience. Yeah. We ended up ordering uh, these cheapo bean beanbag chairs it's instead. It's less of an order and more of a wish. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to have an inflator. I have a data vac. Wait, is this from Wish? No, this is my own. Oh. But, you know, I mean, it doesn't come with a pump. It says, please make sure that you have a pump. So we made sure we have a pump. It's not plugged in. Look at that. Wouldn't have occurred to me in a thousand years to use a data vac for this. Okay. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Look at that, this is way better. You trust it way more than I do. I would not have like sat down on this thing. <laughs> I wouldn't describe it as comfortable, but. That's not bad. Ah. See, this is why I actually bought these for just, oh, you're doing that? No, I'm using this as a footrest. I think this is way better. Versatile. This is one advantage to inflatable furniture. Yeah. Feels like I'm holding nothing, nothing at, at all. all. Nothing, nothing at all. all. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. I see you also brought blankets. Yeah, you know, you gotta be cozy when you watch movies and stuff in here. Um, tiger blanket, two of them. Sick. How much were these? Uh, I'll have to check. I think they were like 20 bucks or something. <laughs> How much were the tiger blanket? They're really cheap feeling. I know they are. <laughs> they, you know, the best part is they labeled as flannel tiger blankets. Huh? That's not flannel. <laughs> no, subject. Christmas, season, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Wow, every season. So handy. That's real flannel. You know, it says so on the product page. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's the Govi TV Backlight 3 Lite. It's time to take a break from memeing on our wish.com products and meme on our sponsor's product. That's right, this is intended to be a TV backlight to help enhance contrast and immersion. And we're gonna try to install it on our projector screen. I don't know how well that's gonna go. No. Nope. But we're gonna give it a try. Not well, yeah. not well. Now the lights and the power shouldn't be a problem, but um, I just remembered how this works. They have a camera that looks at what's on your screen. So it's designed for a 55 to 65 inch TV and it reacts to the content that it sees on the screen without sitting in the middle of the image pipeline. Which means this has to mount somehow. Also, this is not a 55 to 65 inch screen. And is it even emitting enough light for it to like detect it properly? There's only one way to know. Ready for some command strips to rip the crappy paint job off my wall? Hey, command strips work great. They don't, <laughs> don't rip paint. Will it stay? Can you put a little bit of pressure on my arms? I can't put any weight on it. There's one. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you push that side, I can push one side. Okay. Yeah, you push that. Okay. Okay, I think it's good. You know what? We have the hooks. The hooks will hold the lights. Oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> wow, can't even admit I'm right. Uh, Tells me I'm not wrong. Wow. Oh, wow. Festive. Whoa. Looks more like the state of Utah or something. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> Texas. <laughs> yeah, almost Texas. I don't think our experiment worked. UHD LED projector. Yeah. 8K decode. 8K decoding. Disclaimer, 1080p resolution. <laughs> 1080p looks great on a, you know, 100 inch screen. Well, <laughs> not on that one. <laughs> we got HDMI ports. We've got Dolby audio. Dolby what? I, Dolby, that's all you need to know. <laughs> you paid uh, 240 CAD, which is about 175 US dollars. Okay, at least my expectations aren't very high. For Christmas wedding party? For land party. 12,000 lumens they claim. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. For context, this is a $6,000 home theater laser projector from Epson. This does 2,700 lumens, but actually does that. This does not do 12,000. They would never lie to us on the product page. No. no. Or the front of the box. <laughs> this is not bad. I mean, honestly though, I'll tell you this. The wall looks about as good as the screen does. <laughs> <laughs> the backlights really do help. <laughs> Wait, are they working? It kind of looks like it, eh? Holy crap, they're working! They're working. Wow, that was easy. Okay, where's my... Um... Yeah, you took it away. You... Oh! Whoa! It's totally working! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but here's how it's supposed to look. 
Hey, there it is. Cool, right? It's amazing how things work when you install them correctly. This new version of this product from Govee has more accurate color matching, no more edge distortion on the fisheye function, and much greater brightness thanks to their new 4-in-1 RGB IC lamp bead that they're using. They're also claiming that it is easier than ever to install. And, I mean, you guys had this on pretty quickly, so uh, good job. What did I tell you, Ploof? I'm sitting here carefully oh, feeling it. Oh my god! Hey, it's you gone. You're not way. supposed to do that. That's not how you use command strips. Well, what do you? You take the tab. It's got a little arrow down, and you pull it, and it stretches the stuff out oh. off of the back of it. You did it wrong. This is this is user error. This oh. is not the product being bad. I have never used command strips okay, before. Okay, so this side's peeled. I just put holes in my walls like an animal. This is user error. All right. You just, oh my god. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I got you two projectors. Starry sky projector. For the ambiance. Oh, that kind of projector. <laughs> you know, one of those ones you see on TikTok and like on YouTube. I know the kind you see on TikTok. It's the astronaut man. <laughs> this looks great. <laughs> That's actually really cute. Warning laser. Yo, don't shut it at your eyes. But it just shines everywhere. Well, yeah, but it points up. It points up. Wow, it comes with a quick charge 3.0 power delivery wart that does both type A and type C. Pretty cool. That's actually not bad yeah. considering the price. Plug this into his it pack. It was only $35. 35 bucks. All right. All right. All right. It's not bad. Right. And it's cool. It comes out of his pack kind of like a life support system. Yeah, that is a little adorable. oxygen so okay. power. No and off. <laughs> <laughs> no way! According to the product page, it does eight colors of the nebula, has four levels of brightness, and then two working modes, with nebula or without. Ooh. Yeah. Or sorry, it's neb nebula with or without stars. Ah. So you can just get the nebula. Uh. Okay. Oh, no, well, the there's stars some stars. Come back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I you know it's wish so. Wow. Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, right on top of the projector. Yeah, buddy. Will the cable reach? I think so. Ah! I told you. Oh boy, his head fell off. Ooh, oh, I didn't <laughs> thought of that. That's a pretty good idea. Oh wow, the head's magnetic. Yeah. So many features. Also, that wall wart has a little power output reading on it. It oh, has a what? little screen on it. That's impressive. Yeah. I pay 30 bucks just for the wall wart. What? It is working Sad. off the projector. Nice. Wow. And it's shining lasers in my face. Oh, good. <laughs> what else left? I see we've got an LED neon wall sign. Yeah, we do. It says good vibes so that, you know, you've always got good vibes when you're watching movies, right? That's, I hope so, at least anyway, that's, yeah. It's gonna be great. Live, laugh, good vibes. Yeah. And then we've also got this fantastic wall clock from King Live or Live. I don't know. This thing's actually kind of neat. Ooh. It's a little cinema made out of a vinyl record Ooh. on a clock. Huh? I kind of like it. Yeah. Nice. nice. You can hardly even see the thumbtacks. Now, can we plug it in though? Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, I'll take the wall wart. Yo. Oh, you've got a plug up there. Yeah, this is in case I ever wanted to put a motorized projector screen ah. in. Planning ahead. Look at, see, look at this little yeah, display. Yeah, that's great. That sick? Wow, that's wow. pretty good. Two amps. <laughs> I'm amped up. What? It needs two power sources? Check it out. It just has one of those cheap little clock movement things like we showed off when um, we decorated my office. And then it has a separate power source for the RGB lighting. <laughs> really? You know what the best part is? It doesn't color match. Why is it white into a black one? <laughs> oh, aesthetic. <laughs> Where are we putting this? I'm kind of thinking like here? I was thinking, me and David were actually thinking down below the good vibes. Really? So, yeah. It, so it's contributing to the good vibes. That's right, because hold on, you gotta wait, you gotta see this. We plugged in it while you were away. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that great? No. Back to stuff from our sponsor, Gobi, for a second here. What on earth are you planning to do with Christmas string lights? Well, we don't have a tree, because it's a little too early. These are great yeah. for the holidays, but just none right now. We're gonna use them around the outside of the uh, ceiling, so we get that nice, you know, theater lighting. I don't think that's gonna work. Why not? I think it's gonna look really bad. 
<laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> no, I think the product's probably fine. I mean, it's 60 bucks for 10 meters, 90 bucks for a 20 meter light. They have a hundred LEDs per 10 meters. Yeah. So it's really dense. It would uh, look great on a Christmas tree. Yeah. I just think your plan for it is terrible. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I think it's a fantastic plan, and I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Well, you remember the thing in your room where you put the Christmas tree lights around the ceiling yeah, and stuff? 13. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the other products that we've bought for this whole video? There's a astronaut light projector. There is a good vibes neon sign. And there is a cinema clock made out of the vinyl record and a barbershop sign. I'm going for a certain aesthetic here, and I think that this will actually do that kind of perfectly. If you do have a Christmas tree, here's what it can look like. On top of having over 60 preset scene modes, you can also use the built-in mic in the control box to synchronize your lights with whatever Christmas music you're playing around the holidays. Or sync everything with Govi Dream View. Check them out using the link in the description below. These have the little screw on sealed power plug. Are these waterproof? Uh, they're IP65. Okay. So you could put them outdoor, just you probably want to cover them. Right. For the real outdoor stuff, we got the rope lights. Oh, and what are we doing with those? Running lights, like a theater, you know, when they got the, the little lights so you know where to go in the aisles. For a moment, I hoped he was going to say, put them outside where they belong. <laughs> Looking cool like that. Nah. No, we're going to, we're going to, Make it bright in here. Yeah, for the theater experience. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's pretty cool. That's super cool. And you can hook it up to like your smart lights and everything so you can make it do different patterns. This is awesome, I like this thing. Are we connecting the soundbar to the projector or to yes. the Android TV? We do have the Android oh. TV box. Oh, right, the Android the TV box. The Android TV box H96 Max 8K Ultra HD X3. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. It's got dolphins on it. Just wait, this is great. There's a dolphin on it. <laughs> so this should also be Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. This but... looks like one of those ones that Tanner did that video about recently that's like full of spyware. Well, <laughs> maybe we don't hook it up to your network then. Big dunks on the rest of the computer. That actually Wait, sounds not that bad. It's not awful, but we got to use the soundbar. I thought it was synced up. It was synced up. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, BS 20 AB. That should be the soundbar. Does it just have like a three and a half millimeter jack out? It does. Don't ask me why, but I have an RCA pass through to three and a half millimeter female connector, and then I have a male to male three and a half mil. Amazing. So I think we're good. Wait. No. What? What? What did you want again? Uh, <laughs> I wanted aux to RCA. Right, 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 right. No, no, we got this. We got this. Yeah. So then I'll use my method to plug these together. It's detecting something because it's giving me a hiss. Check the sound bar or the projector settings. See if it's uh, set to go through Bluetooth or something still. You know what? Maybe we're going about this entirely the wrong way. Our Android TV box is the obvious solution. Do you want to put that in Bluetooth mode? Let's go, we got this. I believe. Bluetooth mode. Hey. BS28B. Wow. Are we ready to clean up and experience this? Almost. You know, it would really complete the Oscar vibe. These Govi curtain lights, if we just spread them up here and then you gotta like walk through them like a star. Amazing. Yeah. I will admit this is gonna be hard to pack these all up perfectly with all of the accessories back in the right boxes and everything because there's a lot of little hooks and stuff. Oh, that... Well, staying forever. Well, at least a couple weeks. I'm sorry, did you just say a couple of weeks? Well, yeah, because we gotta do the uh, other video in here too with the new home theater stuff. We're leaving it like this? Yeah, for like two weeks. You don't want to leave it like this for when we do the Facebook Marketplace uh, home audio setup stuff? Here's the thing. I didn't tell Yvonne we were doing this, which is my bad, <laughs> but she is already super not impressed. <laughs> when I tell her it's going to be like this for two weeks, I'm a dead man. Well, I told her we were only making improvements. I better at least sell some screwdrivers on LTTstore.com. <laughs> I was like, just that white square. Yeah. You know how we had that transparent TV a while back? This is transparent projector. <laughs> oh, the white square. <laughs> well, here it is. We apparently added this off camera. These are legitimately kind of cool. After you get it installed with hooks, tape, or seamless nails, there's 520 LEDs, so you can put up all kinds of cool graphics. We got a UFO. Pac-Man. 
and a Christmas tree. And you can even sync them with your other lights or create your own graphics. Wow. It's an effect having it all together. Isn't it everything you wished for? It's your new Wish Home Theater. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, that's the Govi uh, light path strip. It's great. So that's the funny part is the Govi stuff looks <laughs> pretty good compared to most of the other Wish stuff. Um, except for that good vibe sign. I'm giving some mad credit to the good vibe sign. It's I not like even it. RGB, it's weak. Well, we ordered the blue version. <laughs> it's B. It's finally time to turn out the lights and actually experience content on this thing. My hopes are not very high. Oh, mine are just through the roof. I'm ecstatic. It's gonna be great. You mean through the starry night sky? Nebula. Excuse me, it's a nebula with stars. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's, that's definitely good now. All right, experience time. This uh, feels very precarious. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's fine. That is really quiet. Sorry, what? <laughs> okay, maybe don't buy the Bluetooth sound bar if you want to recreate this setup. Maybe get something better. It was very cheap. You know what, for the price, I don't even mind the projector. It looks no. pretty washed out and crap, but like for the price. And I bet you'd look better on an actually like better screen. <laughs> I bet it'd look better on a wall. <laughs> yeah, probably. Should we give the projector a shot with all the RGB off? Fine. I think it's worth it. Fine. Oh, hey, there we go. Nice. Whoa. Bottom line, cheap soundbar still sucks. A cheap projector screen is worse than just firing your projector at a wall. Yeah. And cheap projectors have gotten a lot better. Yeah. That is very usable. Also, don't buy that Android TV box or any Android TV box off of Wish. They are like full of malware. <laughs> you know what's not full of malware? Our sponsor, Govi. Without them, this video wouldn't have been possible. And if you're interested in any of the products we showed off today, you can find them at the link down below along with their Permanent Outdoor Lights Pro. Not only will they conform to whatever shape your house might be, thanks to their flexible and cuttable nature, but they can work with your smart home lighting solution to make integration a breeze. These things look awesome if you're into decorating your home for the holidays. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the time we shopped for graphics cards on Wish. It was less of a visual spectacle, but it was equally disastrous. <laughs> <laughs>